Hey everybody, welcome to the mystery edition of What is Rogue Trader? I didn't give this a title because I just want you to be so surprised you'll be speechless. We are going to show you, especially my Warhammer fans, what 40k was really like originally. You ready? Because you know some people say, oh 40k, oh Warhammer, but Today, we're going to talk about, yes, the ancient slan and their inheritance. What? Yeah, I shit you not. Of all the races in the galaxy, the slan claim to be, and may actually be, the oldest. The days of their bright empire are waning, which means they're still there. But still, they remain amongst the most enigmatic creatures of known space. The Slan evolved, matured, and spread throughout the galaxy many hundreds of thousands of years ago. During the heyday of their empire, they discovered and nurtured many primitive creatures, encouraging the evolutionary process on countless worlds eradicating or moving dangerous species and seeding many planets with promising stock. For millennia, they experimented and played with the galaxy, possibly creating many of the races of modern times in the process. But their empire dwindled. The pace of their civilization slowed, and their genetic experiments were largely abandoned. The slan remained retired from an active role in the galactic affairs, falling into a long dream of indolence and introspection. They do not seem to have suffered from any physical conflict. There are no records of destructive wars or disasters among the Slan Empire. <laughs> is, are, you, are you picking all of this up? Is this kind of freaking amazing? Yes, it is. Um, <laughs> where was I? Oh, yeah. Instead, their racial motivations appear to have undergone a sudden and drastic change. So they lost their interest in material conquest and power. Perhaps the Slan discovered something yet unknown to other races, some secret of the universe, a spiritual truth, or supreme mystical insight. In the realms of psychic... Psychic what? Oh, psychic philosophy and mystic technology, the Slan certainly have no equals fulfilling themselves by study of spiritual life forces and the secret powers of other realities. Yeah, I'm actually reading this. The Slan originally evolved from an amphibian stock, and even today, traces of their ancestry are not hard to distinguish. Their hands and feet are long and webbed, their skin cool and moist, their heads large with protruding eyes. They are quite at home in the water and are capable of breathing oxygen from water or other poorly oxygenated atmospheres. Okay? Directly through their skin. Slan vary in color a great deal. Green and blue are common. Yellow is fairly well represented. There is also a scattering of other rarer color morphs, as well as albino and melanistic forms. Brightly pigmented slan are often extrovert, talented, or especially noteworthy in some way. Skins are sometimes molted, striped, or otherwise marked. On some slan worlds, and especially amongst the primitive slan, whatever that would mean, uh, these markings represent tribal divisions. Height is fairly constant, with adult slan reaching 2 meters, 
females are slightly larger and bulkier. Got it again? Slan also are not asexual, male and female. The slan inhabit an area to the north of the galactic pole, living amongst a number of proximate, pros prosperous worlds. Their society remains closed to other races, but appears to be homogenous throughout, with a similar technological base, language, and culture on each planet. Exceptionally, groups of slan live as primitive savages on a number of worlds beyond slam sp slan space. Hello, Warhammer! Primitive slan living on other worlds beyond slan space, otherwise known as lizardmen. Yes, it's true. You now know it. 40k and Warhammer coexisted. It's no lie. And next time, uh, we're going to go on to part two of the slan and their relationship with the Imperium. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah, there's a lot there. All right. Well, I'll see you then. Bye. <laughs>